It all started with a little game called Combat for the Atari 2600. The first ever video game console was also the first system to include a free game. The practice has repeated many times since, but it's been a good decade since a game was packed in with the new console. That's all about to change with Wii Sports, a harmlessly addictive game that clearly demonstrates Nintendo's vision. Wii Sports is split into five different games. You'll get tennis, golf, baseball, bowling, and boxing, all without spending an extra dime over the Wii's $250 price tag. In all honesty, it's the perfect complement to the console, providing a simple introduction to exactly what the Wii's brand new controller is all about. Play ball! You can play all the games alone or with up to three other people. There's also a training mode that provides a variety of skill building exercises that become surprisingly addictive. Nice throw! While none of the games are robust enough to stand on their own and rack into sales, as a whole, it's a nice total package. Each game has been expertly crafted to provide just enough meat to satisfy longtime players without going overboard and making it inaccessible to the mass market. Single! This manifests in different ways for each event, but one overarching omission is the lack of tournament play for any of the games. 30 Love! For something that will surely be a hit at parties, this is a disappointing oversight. Tennis is one of the most accessible and easy to play. In this game, you use only the Wii Remote to swing the tennis racket. Each match is a doubles affair, with you controlling both the forward and backward players. When the ball gets near either, just swing the racket and they'll make contact. This is the embodiment of the Wii's philosophy, simple, accessible, and entirely immersive. You can choose to play one, three, or five game sets, and that's basically where the options end. Golf is probably the most complex of all the games in Wii Sports. While there's only one course, it calculates wind, swing speed, hand placement, and a bunch of other parameters. You'll be surprised at just how differently your shots come off the club head, and best of all, it can be played by up to four people using just one Wii Remote. Nice par. Boxing is one of those bittersweet inclusions. While it's fun and provides the best workout Wii Sports has, it's a reminder of just how awesome Punch-Out would be for the system. You basically go through a ladder of opponents, with each pugilist increasing in difficulty until you attain the coveted Pro Rank. Bowling is one of those events that may seem boring on paper, but once you get playing, it's some of the most fun you can ever have without wearing a pair of shoes that smell like Lysol. With regulation games all played with one Wii Remote, it's also the easiest to get the hang of. Baseball goes straight to the essence. You can play nine inning games, but you'll only control the batter and pitcher. All the fielding is handled by the computer, which gives poor sports an excuse for losing. You don't technically get singles, doubles, or triples. It's all computed based upon where your hit lands in the field of play, how hard the ball was hit, etc. While none of the games in Wii Sports could pass as standalone games because the features are so minimal, you're given just enough to keep you hooked, while ensuring that when friends stop by, there's a minimal learning curve to overcome. At the same time, there's no denying that the events are basically shells of real games. While the features for each sport are certainly limited, the gameplay compensates for it a great deal. You'll be surprised at just how in-depth the controls are for some of the sports, and how accurately your actions with the Wii Remote are transferred to the field of play. You're out! Tennis, while being one of the most fun to actually play, has a difficult time of picking up spin from the controller. Placing your shots, lobs, and overhand smashes are no problem, but trying to put some backspin on a drop shot to kill the bounce is no easy task. Fortunately, alternating between the forehand and backhand, deciding which player to strike the ball with, or nailing the serve at the top of the toss provides more than enough variables to facilitate nail-biting excitement. Also, absolutely anyone can understand how to play it. Bowling is the other huge success. Just like tennis, it's easy to understand. You simply choose the vertical line you want to roll the ball down, adjust the angle of strike, pull her back, and let her rip. Be sure to release a button at the absolute bottom of your swing. You can add spin to the ball in either direction, and the reaction is incredibly accurate. It's simple, fun, and has some hidden depth. Golf is sort of in the middle of the pack. While it's supposed to read how your wrists are turned when the ball is hit, affecting a slice or a hook, it's too unpredictable for its own good. If the tech isn't there, it's probably best to just simplify the swing. The lack of courses is also a bummer, but at the end of the day, it's definitely the most in-depth to play.
Boxing is the best workout to be had from Wii Sports, but it's far too archaic and it's difficult to get the punch timing down. This manifests itself into all-out brawls in multiplayer that rely far too much on luck. The single-player version is just as unpredictable as the generic characters you square off against don't tip their punches, so again, it's more of a matter of luck than anything else. Of all the games, baseball is probably the most worthless. While it's a nice novelty to be able to swing the bat and watch your actions replicated on the screen, it's basically just a pitcher's duel, with a computer taking over the fielding duties. Again, this results in a lot of luck coming into play. Making matters worse, it can be difficult to hit the ball if you're holding the bat higher than the sensor bar. Strike. Wii Sports is incredibly fun to play for the first couple days you have it, and you'll undoubtedly sell some Wiis for Nintendo if you bust it out at a party. But eventually, the relative lack of depth to any of the games exposes it for what it is, a free game that comes packed in with the system. Reviewing games like Wii Sports is tough. It's free with the system in North America, so therefore our expectations are lower than for a typical game. If you live somewhere else where you have to pay for it, we don't recommend it. A couple of the games are rewarding for the long term, but most can be easily whipped into submission in a matter of hours. The visuals are also severely lacking. We understand that function is almost always more important than fashion, but these graphics are Nintendo 64 level. As a pack-in, Wii Sports is a great way to showcase the capabilities of the system, and is sure to become a party favorite. It's also a glimpse into the future, when full-featured games will be built upon its fundamentals. We can't wait.